Good evening. Perth is being lashed by a wild spring storm as we go to air tonight. And the Royal Show has just been shut down for the evening because of safety fears at Cayman Gok is at Naval Base tonight in Cayman. The front has caused widespread damage. Michael, 25,000 homes are without power right now. The majority caused by uprooted trees and debris. The most impacted suburbs are Yokine, Chewart Hill, Marmion, Kulbinia, North Beach, North Fremantle and Booragoon. It's a fast moving situation that has the SES and Western Power racing to respond. An early taste of what was in store for Perth. Copping the first of the day's major weather damage, the resident of this Applecross home woke to rainfall in his house. A powerful gust of wind ripping the roof clean off, sending it flying and crashing into a neighbour's yard. Unfortunately, that's just a symptom of the beast, really. Um, Localised gusts are common with thunderstorms and it does look like that might have been the case. SES crews working to shore up a makeshift roof before the next round of wild weather blasted Perth this afternoon. That low pressure system driving gusts that brought a fresh round of destruction, blowing out the skylight and bringing down glass, narrowly missing people at Garden City Shopping Centre. The wild weather also playing havoc with our power network. 25,000 homes and businesses this afternoon without electricity. Western Power saying down trees and branches mostly to blame. While powerful winds brought down a tree and a streetlight across Stirling Highway in Crawley near UWA, these were felled on the campus itself. And this massive gum brought down on a building at Aquinas College. Our coast also taking a battering. Treacherous looking waters, perfect conditions for some. The conditions are right for what you want to do, then, then you, you know you do it. Jump out of a plane from 20,000 feet, the conditions are right. Rotnest was hardest hit with gusts of 107 kilometres an hour smashing the island. Jandicott also recorded its strongest gusts in three years at 93 kilometres an hour, while winds of 100 kilometres an hour thumping the Rockingham shoreline. Really tying down your loose objects outside in the garden, just doing a bit of a quick tidy up so that nothing becomes a projectile. Cameron Gock, Nine News.